Hey guys, it's Amanda from TheIntuitiveWife.com and today I'm coming at you with a completely different kind of video. Every once in a while I'll come across a book that gets added to one of my favorite self-development type books. And this one, Glennon Doyle's Untamed, has definitely made the list. I first heard about this book last summer when I was getting antsy during COVID and I was really trying to change up the content that I was absorbing. I came across a podcast by Brene Brown where she was doing an interview with Glennon Doyle. Honestly, I had never heard of Glennon Doyle before, but the podcast interview literally made me cry almost the entire time. <laughs> so that was my sign that I needed to get my hands on this book. Okay, so let's fast forward to when I actually get my hands on the book and start reading it. And I don't know if it's hilarious or sad, but by the end of the first chapter, I was already, once again, full on crying. <laughs> and I say I don't know if it's hilarious or sad because Brene Brown literally read it out on the podcast. So I knew it was coming, but it still really hit home. So let's give a background to Glennon Doyle and this book. Glennon Doyle is an American author who actually started her blogging career back in 2009 and is now also the founder and president of Together Rising, which is a nonprofit organization that supports women, families, and children in crisis. This book has already been making quite an impact since being published in 2020. Glennon Doyle's book Untamed has landed on Amazon's top 10 self-help books, as well as Reese Witherspoon's book club reading list, Oprah's book club reading list, and has been gaining recognition from celebrities such as Adele, who says that this book has completely transformed her life and it feels like she is now in her body for the first time. Okay, so there are really so many reasons why I loved this book, but here are some of my top reasons. This book touches a lot on inherited beliefs, which basically covers what did we learn as young girls and how do we believe women and children should behave today. She also talks about inherited beliefs and how they can actually be much easier to overcome than what we perceived to be. She really breaks it down into four steps. The first one being address the belief. The second being ask yourself, do you want to keep it? The third, what do you want to replace this belief with? And fourth, to decide. It sounds super easy when you're summarizing it like that, but I love that she touches on the fact that it's actually not easy. Every day is a challenge. You will continue to be triggered and that not everything is butterflies and rainbows. Just because you decided that you no longer believe in this belief right now. By the way, if you want to see the blog post that inspired this video, I will leave the link in the description box down below. Now, another thing I really appreciated about this book was that every word was her absolute truth. The shame that she feels about not being that great of a friend, the challenges she feels of, about being a parent, the fact that she doesn't always trust herself, especially when she was in a darker time in her life where she was considering divorcing her cheating husband. She literally sat there and Googled, should I divorce my husband? So it was nice to be able to relate to someone who doesn't always know the answers. And I love that that's being communicated because how often are we on YouTube or Instagram and we're following an influencer who looks like they have it all together, even a celebrity. They make it seem like they are rocking it without zero help and zero challenges and struggles. And that's, it's not realistic. How many times do you follow an influencer who takes a selfie of them in first class just to move back to their original seat? It's all appearances. And I love that she was able to really let down her walls and really communicate how it is to be a woman nowadays. I really did find Glennon's story to be so interesting, but I think what I loved the absolute most was how real and raw and honest she was, that there was dialogue about what it's like to be an adult now and how people perceive things to be, but how they really are behind closed doors. Even if you're not interested in a book that is a unique blend of self-help and memoir and I think a little female empowerment. I think the author's honesty alone is worth the read. Of course, you always hear things like live your own life and only do what makes you happy. Nobody else matters. But the reality is it's not always an easy thing to do. And I find Glennon's supportive motherly tone 
really lights the fire again to really make you feel and believe that you actually can do the things that you want to do. You can be the person that you want to be. I would absolutely recommend this book to any woman who is unhappy in her life, who feels that they are meant for something so much more. Really, honestly, any woman, period, I think, would really benefit from reading this book. Okay, so if I have piqued your interest and you need to get your hands on a copy of this book, which I highly recommend, I will leave the link for the book in the description box below. Something else that I'm really looking forward to from Glennon Doyle is that she will be coming out with a journal based on the concept that she speaks of in Untamed. I believe that comes out in November, but I will also leave the link to pre-order that if you're interested in the description box below. If you're interested in maybe an unboxing video when I get my hands on this journal, please do let me know in the comments. I am always open to suggestions. Also, if you're interested in maybe another book review video or a top five, I don't know, personal development books list, I'm more than happy to get that to you as well if that's something that you're interested in. If you found this video helpful and want to see more content like this, please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.